Oh, good job. The president, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And the chamber would like to give the floor to the international la co-prosecutor to continue his line of questioning. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Allez-y. Sir, I'd like to tell you a bit about what's been said about you in this trial in the last couple of months. I want you to listen to this and then think about it. On the 18th of February of this year, a witness testified TCW 807 at E1265.1. The time was 1042. And he was reminded that in his statement to the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, he had said that Tassan was a district secretary and asked when that was. He answered, quote, I don't remember when he was becoming the district, but I later heard that he was district chief. Just last week, the last day we were in court, Thursday, a witness who was a guard at Krang Tachan prison testified that at 10.54, he said he used to meet you when visiting his parents at Leibo. He was asked how did he know that Tassan was the district chief, and he said he heard from the villagers. And then later he was asked at 10.56, who told you at Krang Tachan that Tassan became the district chief? He was asked who at Krang Tachan told him, and he answered it was Ta'an who said that. And finally, sir, at 27th of January, 2015, E1253.1, the witness was asked at 10, excuse me, at 1402, can you give us the names of any other officials at the cooperative or the level of the district? And in her answer, she said, in the district committee, was Tassan. That was at, excuse me, that was at 9.42. But then at 14.02, she explained, Tassan, I do not know his surname. He was the district committee. Before Lon Nol, before Kamarouche period, he was a teacher. Mr. Witness, you've already received a letter before you testified. And I want to reiterate something to you. You are not here to be prosecuted for what happened during the Khmer Rouge period. I'm the international co-prosecutor. My predecessors and I have said, and my national colleague has said repeatedly, there will be no new suspects submitted to the investigating judges. There's no chance for you to be prosecuted at this tribunal because you're not one of the suspects whose name has been submitted for investigation. But I'd also, sir, tell you that you can, I'd ask the judges to tell you that in this proceeding, you're taking an oath and you're subject to a penalty for perjury. And I would make a motion to your honors under internal rule 36 that you please allow my national colleague to read to the witness Article 545 of the Cambodian Criminal Code, which sets out the, the penalty for false testimony under oath. Uh, Co-prosecutor, co uh, internal rule 36 of the internal rule and the article I will read is 
uh, cited to uh, Criminal Code of Procedure, uh, Article 545. Uh, uh, thank you. President, um, I have in front of me Rule 36 of uh, the in, uh, internal rules, and I, I, I read paragraph 1, which says uh, the chambers may, on their own initiative or at the request of a party, remind a witness of their duty to tell the truth and the consequences that they may result from failure to do so. So if, how I understand this provision, it is you, uh, at the request of a party, who should remind uh, the witness to tell the truth, and not um, one of the parties. So uh, I, of course, have no problem if the prosecution asks the chamber uh, to remind the witness, but that's, I think, the proper proceeding. The president. International Co-Prosecutor, please Merci. hold on. Um, Council Kongsamon, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Having heard the request for instruction for this uh, witness by the International Co-Prosecutor, it seems to me that uh, there was no relation uh, between um, uh, the situation. It's a kind of threat to this witness. So when the co-prosecutor referred to the internal rule or the, uh, or the criminal code of procedure, it's something like a threat to the witness who is testifying before the court. Your Honor, these are absolutely solemn proceedings involving issues that are, we all agree, extremely important. Internal Rule 36 allows the court, on the motion of the parties, to advise the witness of the consequences of not telling the truth. And it indicates that it can be referred to the appropriate authorities of the Kingdom of Cambodia. Article 545 of the Cambodian Criminal Code sets out the penalty for false testimony, two to five years in prison and a fine. This witness should be advised of the consequences of false testimony. It also indicates in 545 that if the witness retracts testimony and speaks the truth before the termination of the trial procedure, the penalty would not apply. So I think given the circumstances of the testimony, the amount of contradictions between this witness and other witnesses regarding his positions, numerous other witnesses, that it's only fair to this witness that he be advised of the consequences of false testimony. Baba, the president, uh, the trial chamber agreed to the international co-prosecutor and uh, the international co-prosecutor uh, co-prosecutor may uh, remind the witness on this matter. Um, Prosecutor, Mr. Witness, as indicated by the International Co-Prosecutor, especially the proceeding before the trial chamber, I will now read to you uh, one of the articles in the Cambodia Criminal Code of Procedure. This is apply equally to every Cambodian in the Kingdom of Cambodia. I would like to read for you Article 545. Uh, the full testimony made after the oath before the chamber or before the uh, judicial police who 
acted in the framework of uh, rogatory letter shall be punished for two to five Attenté years in prison uh, and shall be fined for four million real to uh, 100, 100 million real. And the witness shall be exempt from any punishment if he uh, will he or she retract his or her testimony spontaneously and only speaks the truth before the decision terminating the investigating or trial procedure has been made. Thank you, Mr. President. President. Mr. International Co-Prosecutor, you may proceed. Mr. Witness, your fellow Cambodians are in the audience listening. The victims of the crimes are listening. Can you tell us, were you appointed the district to the district committee of Tram Kok? Witness, I answered to you the monk who called me from Koch and Dad to work at Tram Kok to be the assistant to help with some activity in Tram Kok. So in Tram Kok, I was staying in Lebo. At that time, Tachai was the secretary of Tram Kok district. It was Tachai who was secretary of Tram Kok district and Ye Chiet and another person I don't recall. But I followed Tamok instruction to work in the uh, dam construction, canal construction work site and so on. Later after that, Tachai was sent to Batambong province, and I don't know what happened to Ye Shiet, but he was no longer at the district office. And the remaining were Ye Bun and me, and Taron was the one who became secretary and in charge of Tram Kak district. Tamok did not declare that I become the secretary of the district. So those witnesses who said uh, earlier, so they may confuse or they may made a mistake to refer to me as the secretary, but in fact, I was not officially assigned as a district secretary at all. You worked on the committee with Kit Takit, is that correct? Answer. At the beginning, Takit was there. He was the secretary of Tram Kok district. And later, he went to Kandal province. And then Tachai became the secretary of the district, and Ye Chiet, including myself, who was sent to help um, with other activities in Tram Kok district. And you told us that in the end, it was only you and Ye Buen in the committee. Is that is that what I understand your testimony correct? No, can you? President, please hold on, witness. Uh, Mr. Kung Samon, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to object this question because it is a repetitive question. The witness has already indicated that he was at Trump Kok as assistant, and Taron, who was from the sector, who became the secretary of that office. Thank you. Well, that's a different understanding than I had, which is perhaps why 
the question may be necessary. I recall the witness saying specifically that when someone left, shit, it was he and Ye Boon that were left. Can we? Can I clarify with the witness? Is it correct? The president, the objection by the defense counsel does not sustain. Witness, please respond to the question uh, put to you by the international co-prosecutor because the trial chamber need to listen to your testimony and respond to this question. Answer, I was at Tramcock district with Ye Boon. So it was just the two of you after Chit and Kit had left. Is that right? Non, plus que vous, une fois que Kit et Chit sont partis, n'est-ce pas? Respond. Réponse. Takit left the parti. district. Already. Mr. Witness, I thought you said Bart. You said yes before the microphone went on. Is that correct? Did you say yes to the question? L'accusation. Je n'ai pas bien entendu. Est-ce que vous avez répondu que oui? Answer. Réponse. I responded that Takut has had already left. Était déjà parti. So it was you and Ye Boon that were left Question. alone at the committee. Is that correct? Yes or no? Alors, êtes-vous resté seul avec Ye Boon au comité ou pas? Respond. Réponse. I was there with Jay Boon at the district, and Taron was the sec from the sector who came and took charge over the district. What was your position at that time? Question: Et quel était votre poste à vous à l'époque? Answer, no one had ever announced my position. Did you carry out the work of the district committee and report to Sector 13? Answer. I re reported to Taron, and Ye Boon was also Ye reporting Boon. to uh, Taron. Vous êtes également rapport à Taron. Ron was the Sector 13 committee chief, correct? L'interprète signale que les débuts d'intervention du coprocureur international sont presque toujours inaudibles. President, uh, international co-prosecutor, could you please ask uh, the question again? Told us earlier, was the sector 13 committee chief? Is that correct? Taron était-il le chef du secteur 13? Le chef du comité du secteur 13. Answer. Réponse. I don't know whether he was the secretary or the deputy or the uh, secretary, but I saw him only him at the sector, and he was assigned also uh, to take charge of Tramcock district. The commune chiefs sent their reports to you. Question. The commune chiefs from District 105, correct? 
after the others left, Kit and others left, and it was you and Ye Boon, the commune chiefs reported to you, correct? Answer. I did not receive any report, but we, we would meet at the district office. Now move on and I'd ask to show you some documents. And the first one is E3-2424. Specific. The president, uh, your request is granted, co-prosecutor. Co we could show on the screen, in English, it is 00322149, and it is the right-hand section of the Khmer ERN 00271029. Perhaps again to clarify, the ERN I have for Kamai is 00271028 to 29. Uh, the portion I'm interested in is on 29. On the right hand side. À droite de la page. The President, um, please uh, look at the ERN on the document. Is it correct? S'agit-il là de du bon ERN? E slash twenty four twenty four. Is this the correct uh, document? S'agit-il du E bar vingt quatre vingt quatre ou du E trois bar vingt quatre vingt quatre? Correction interpreter E3 slash 24 Correct. Sir, there's a note on the right hand. Uh, it's on the left side of the page that has the ERN 00271028. It's on the right side of the page with the next ERN 00271029. It says, to my beloved comrade An, for your information, I would like the comrade brother to communicate and take this person to Sre Ranong commune and question him to clarify for his network to find out to whom he was with when he was in Sre Ranong for three months and also who else were in his enemy network. Then send me his answer, signed San. Do you, do you recognize this document? President, Council Consum On, you can proceed. Consum On, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like Mr. President to instruct the prosecution to clarify the uh, document number because in document E3-2424, there is nothing uh, to the facts as stated by the uh, co-prosecutor. The document I have 
It's two E3, two, e four, 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 four. The ERN in English is zero zero three two two one four nine. And it indicates on that page that it's a translation of ERN 00271028 to 29. This is a note that apparently was, according to the, the note, it's on the right hand section of the Khmer ERN 00271029. Sir, I don't expect you to remember everything that happened almost 40 years ago. Monsieur, Do you recognize, is that something, a document that you sent, ans, a note that you wrote? The only thing I can see in this document uh, is a Kun, and then on this page there is another person by the name of Kun. That is all I can see. I'll let my national colleague explain. National Court Prosecutor, uh, Mr. Witness, do you have a Monsieur document in your hand? Is it E3 slash 2444? If so, at EN with ending uh, number 1029. And to the right of that document, there is a black uh, part, it's a bit darker, and that is what has been read out in English by the International Co-Prosecutor. Do you see it on the documents that you have in your hand? It is, uh, uh, the witness, it is unclear to me as it is a little bit uh, too dark uh, to read out. Prosecutor, allow me to read it once again to you. And let me have a direct quote. Et je vais citer to beloved uh, comrade Anne, à de I would like the camera to communicate Bang and take this Anne person in Sredenau commune je vous prie and question him to clarify for his non. network et to find out through whom he was with when he was in uh, Sredenau for three months and also who else were in his uh, enemy uh, network. Pour savoir s'il s'agit d'un réseau d'ennemis et pas cette Then fin de l'identité de l'identité de l'identité de l'identité So do you recognize this as a note you wrote? L'accusation, procureur international, reconnaissez-vous que c'est là une note manuscrite? Qui l'a écrit? Dit le coprocureur. No, I do not recognize this handwriting. Non, je ne reconnais pas cette écriture. I'd like to give the witness E3-2453. In English, the page with the ERN 00388577. And in Khmer, ERN 00277070. And the next page, 7-4. The document number again is E3-2453.
May I have the document given to the witness? Puis je consacre ce document au témoin. Demande d'accusation. Yes, you may. Allez-y. Do you have a page that ends in 773 and 774? There is a note that says, Brother Kit, be advised. As for Fong Fala and Pen Aung, I have decided to have brother, excuse me, I have decided to have comrade brother Chong send them to the District 105 Police, signed San, and it appears to be dated 18 October. The date just above it is 18 October 77, and the note above it. First of all, Mr. Witness, you know Chom, is that correct? Chom. Vous le -ce pas? He was the chief of Il the Ang Tassom commune, is that right? De la Yes, I knew him. He was the oui, Andasam oui, commune chief. Well, did you send Kit, before oui, Kit question. left Tramcock, did you send Kit Tramcock, this note regarding two individuals and asking that Brother Chom send them to the District 105 police? I cannot recall it. I forget it all. In October 1977, Kit was still on the committee in Tramcock, correct? This was only about four months after you arrived. You arrived in June. In October, Kit was still on the committee in Tramcock. Is that correct, Mr. Witness? When I arrived at the Tram Court District, Takut was Réponse. still the Takut, district uh, secretary. District Court, district. So I'd like to go now Accusation. to another document that's at the another page of the same document. document. That's at the very end, the very end of that document. Two, four. E3-2453. The very last pages. If those can be given to the witness. Your Honor, may this be passed to the witness? Yes, you can do that. You'll see on the first of these pages, it's a report. Beginning, it says, wish to respectfully report to the district base area party as follows. Number one, enemy situations. I'm not going to read it all, but it ends saying, may the party be informed about the four of them and list four individuals and provide us information on whatever the party decides. The four individuals were listed as a pilot, a secretary of a war material warehouse, a military police chief, 
and a corporal. And then, at the very end, we see a note to Comrade Brother Kit. I have decided that these four persons should be arrested, signed San. Did you write that note to Kit? Again, 18th of October, 1977. <laughs> Uh, the person that you read out, but uh, I cannot recall it. Let me keep moving because we're running out of time, so I'll go to another document, E3-2785, E3-2785. And I'm interested in what appears at English ERN 003 22192. May that be given to the witness, please. Mr. International Co Prosecutor, could you please uh, give the Ian again and please do it in the three official languages? Thank you. In English, I have it's at 00322192 in Khmer, 00079114 nine one one four and one five and in French zero zero seven five three six three six zero zero seven five three six three six zero zero seventy five three six three six zero zero seventy five three six three six on the yes you may proceed And uh, duty counsel, please uh, put aside the previous uh, documents and please uh, review the document that is just, that has just been delivered by the court officer. And just to be clear, I'm interested in the second page of the two I gave. So ending in English 9-3, ending in Kamai 1-5, the very end of this. There's a note that reads, to you, comrade brother An, please be informed. The above-mentioned persons were trying to escape to Yuan along with other previous contemptible arrestees, dated 7-3 San. Sir, did you write this note? Question: Avez-vous rédigé cette note, Monsieur le témoin? Regarding this note, which was written on the 7th of March, if you look at the handwriting, it is not my handwriting. So what is not your handwriting? How about the signature at the very end, son? Is that your handwriting? Two, 
President, yes, in fact, you can uh, give the documents in batch, but you need to give all the references, that is, the uh, numbers in the three official languages, before you deliver them. Thank you. I think, I'll, with your honor's permission, I'll deliver them one by one, because I, otherwise it may confuse me or the witness. So this one is E3-2423 e at Khmer, the ERN is 00079128. In French, it's 00611732. And in English, it's 00322210. And the document reads, Le document dit one, interrogate Un, the contemptible Ho, second lieutenant, Hull, and ask him to find out his network. When he fled to Phnom Trotre Mountain, whether he had his network in Chamkar Siang or not, what are their names? Two, Concerning the name Sian, who was sent there yesterday, I would also I would like to also ask Comrade Elder Brother to interrogate to find out his network of assignment and ask him who else has been assigned, what will be the activities. Elder Brother, please inquire about everything with them. San, do you recognize this note? While you're reading that, I just advise your honors that there is. Que vous de ce document, -je dire au juge, Mr. Witness, I'll also Monsieur advise Témoin, you that there's another document in this case, a notebook. E3-4083 that has a prisoner list. The international co-prosecutor, the witness, has not yet responded uh, to your question, but in fact he, he responded, but the microphone was not yet uh, operational. And Mr. Witness, uh, please uh, respond to the last question asked by the uh, co-prosecutor, if you still recall it. Otherwise, you may request uh, the question to be uh, put to you again. Witness. Yes, I can record the question whether I recognize the handwriting, and I replied that it was not my handwriting. Sir, with time is running out today, I'm going to show you today one more document, E3-4093. In English, it's at 00831486. In Khmer, 
87. The document number again is E3 slash 4093. And the French, French ERN is 0072 May I have the copy given to the witness, please? Yes, that you may proceed. Sir, first let's look at the signature. That's your signature. Just above the date, 7 August, correct? The name is my name, but the handwriting is not mine. Sir, was there any other San in District 105 in 1977-1978 in the District Committee offices? Some, some looks from the Please uh, put the question again. You were the only son in the Tram Cup District Committee offices, correct? Est-ce bien celui-là? Intervention de l'orateur a commencé et le canal était occupé. Mr. International Co-Prosecutor, please do not rush your questions because the French channel is not fully complete. S'il vous plaît, reposez votre question pour qu'on puisse l'entendre depuis le début. Thank you. The end of the day, I think I am rushing. I'll slow down. Sir, you were the only son, person with the name son, in the Tramcock District Committee offices. Isn't that, is that true? Or is there some other son that no one has ever mentioned? No, no. In the, the district, there uh, was uh, myself, San. However, there were also other men by the name of San at the commune. But I am not sure because they were older than me, so probably they have all died. There was no other San working in the district committee or with the district committee, was there? Yeah. As for other men with the name of Sands, they were not part of the district committee. They, they were at the uh, commune level. This note is addressed to beloved comrade Chun. Who was Chun? Chuan was chief of the district office, and at that time he was much older than me. 
Who was Ming? Comrade Ming. Who was Ming? Comrade Ming. The archive of Ming. Mr. Witness, do you remember a Ming who ran a prison near Angroka? Meng. Meng. No, I cannot recall that. Let me read this note and see if you can explain this note to us. Beloved Comrade Chuan, with regard to prisoners from Changtong Commune, request to send any children that cannot be separated from their mothers, any bigger children that have already gone to the mobile units or children's units, let them stay there and take just the mothers. But if children cannot be separated from their mothers, bring them in for interrogation, and after everything is finished, sweep them all clean. As for the widows from Champang Tom Kang Chung, who are currently staying at the place of Comrade Meng, request to sweep them all clean. Sir, you were a teacher, an educated man, working in the district office. What do the words sweep them all clean mean? I cannot uh, provide you with an explanation. Well, what does that mean? You can't explain why this crime was committed, or you can't explain what the words sweep them all clean mean. Sweep them all clean, Mr. Witness. Do you know, is it correct that that means to kill? It was understood during the DK regime that those words were equivalent of to kill. Do you agree with me or no? Do you want to speak to your lawyer? Okay. Do you need time to speak to your lawyer? Perhaps you could speak to him overnight. This might be an appropriate time to break down. Do you want to answer the question or do you want to speak to your lawyer? I'd like to consult with my counsel. This would be probably an appropriate time to break for the day. No, I'd be grow. President. Will you be able to consult with your duty counsel now, Mr. Witness, or you need uh, at least enough time to consult with your lawyer? Witness, I need more time to consult with my duty counsel, and I wish to respond to that question tomorrow. President, uh, thank you. 
We now come to the end of today's proceedings and we will resume tomorrow morning. That is 10th of March 2015, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. And again, tomorrow the Chamber will continue to hear the testimony of a witness. Ning Uj. This information is for the relevant parties and for the public. And Mr. Ning Uj, the Chamber thank you for your testimony. However, it has not yet concluded. And for that reason, you are invited to return to the Chamber tomorrow morning. And court officer, uh, please uh, make an arrangement with the Visu for the transportation of Ning Uj to his residence and invite him to return to the courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 o'clock. Likewise, the duty council is also invited by the chamber uh, tomorrow morning for your consultation during the testimony of your client. And security personnel, you are entitled to take the two accused back to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom prior to 9 o'clock tomorrow. The court is now adjourned.